Italy, folks, 49 points to 17. They gave Samoa a bit of a whooping. Um, I've just watched this game very much delayed, uh, given there was so much rugby on and this game was on at 2 in the morning. But, um, yeah, it's now like 4 o'clock in the afternoon. I've been watching rugby since 4 in the morning. But, um, yeah, I'm done for the day. And I finished watching this game. And there was a lot of tries. I'm really glad I did not get spoiled to the result of this one because, boy, was there a lot of scoring. Yeah, tries galore. Tries galore. I'm not sure what ground that was at. I actually missed it. Uh, but there seemed to be a good little crowd in attendance. Not the biggest stadium in the world, but I would rather see a relatively full stadium that's not the hugest one than a same crowd in a cavernous stadium, if you know what I mean. But um, yeah, those in attendance, for Italian fans were really treated to, um, to their team just letting loose. It was, though, all Samoa early. Like, Lamaro conceded a penalty for a no-arms tackle. Um, and Samoa just had Italy under the pump. And they actually had one try from a line-out move chalked off, which maybe sets the tone of this whole game differently if Samoa score that. You can kind of speculate on that all you like, but it didn't happen. Ah Wong managed to get his, like, thumb in the way of a Samoan pass, which went to the eventual try scorer, which meant it's gone forward. So, um, like, a knock on. So, yeah, try chalked off, which was kind of unfortunate. But, um, yeah, Italy went down the other end first chance and managed to get three points for a penalty. Three points to nil to the Italians. Uh, Yona had a chance. I don't think he's played any rugby for a while. He looked pretty rusty. Um, he had a first chance for a Samoan penalty, but he missed it. And then um, Italy, from about 20 minutes started to really take things up a notch. They had their best period of play. A line-out, a maul. Um, Garbisi managed to put bricks through a gap. That one was a pretty sweet move. So 10 points to nil to the Italians. And then they made it two in about two minutes with uh, bricks again with the big old line break from their own 22, man. Italians were playing with some real confidence. And then uh, Bruno is the man who finished that one. Uh, somehow the commentator I have managed to confuse Monti Iwane with Pierre Bruno. I know they're both on one wing. I don't see the resemblance personally. And I, I mean, I've gotten players mixed up all the time, but I just thought that one was uh, kind of an interesting mix-up for the commentator. Maybe he's sitting far away with the sun in his eyes. Um, but uh, yeah, so Italians, they're really romping in at that point and they add another three just before half hour. Uh, with a penalty to make it 20 points to nil. Um, Samoa really needed something to happen. And they did kind of arrest the momentum at least for a bit. Because they, that kind of 10 minutes between the Brex try, uh, the Bruno try and a penalty was, was pretty forgettable for them. But they did manage to kind of stop the momentum. They went through a bunch of phases. They weren't really getting too much ground. But they were slowly inching the Italians back. And then Iona just like puts a kick over the top. Nobody's even chasing it. It's too deep. Just wasted. Really wasted opportunity from uh, from Sabo. That's what I talk about. Like, if you're not together that long, or if you've not played for a wee while, that's the kind of mistake that um, that can happen, unfortunately. Uh, a big tackle from, um, from Ah Wong on Tommaso Allen. Big hit. Uh, sadly for Ah Wong, it just creeps up a little bit high and hits him just under the chin. Uh, so he gets yellow carded for that one, which gives the Italians another three. So it's 23-0. Samoa's playing with a man down. Varney kicks a 50-22. Italy go with that territory. A bunch of phases. Wide ball uh, from Garbisi to Monti Ioane, who steps inside for another try to make it 28-0 by halftime. And the Samoans are still going to start the second half with a man down. So it's looking pretty hairy for them, man. The Italians have had more position, 54%. They've had more territory, 55%, more run meters, 316 to 203. And they've got 28 points on the board to nothing. Um, second half, uh, Samoa don't do themselves any favors, man. Uh, they miss touch with a penalty. Yonda kicks it out on the full. No, he knocks it on. He knocks it on from a kick. It's a kick return, just catch it. He drops it cold. Um, yeah, they're just putting pressure on themselves. Eh? Then the Italians have got a scrum from that drop ball position. And uh, with Ah Wong still in the bin, there's a bit of space out wide. And it's Monty Iwane to go over again. To Iwane's credit, he did smash into uh, Iwane and like almost had him into touch. But Iwane is a great finisher. So he manages to dot it down. 35 points to nil. Uh, Iwane gets subbed after that, eh? I mean, not his best day at the office. Paya Awa comes on for his Samoa debut, so congrats to him. He kicks a 50-22 pretty much 
uh, straight off the bat, get Samoa down the right end of the field, and then um, they get their first try through Saltini. A great offload. I forget who did the offload, but it was a great little offload out the back um, for the try assist. At least they're on the board, 35-7, but pretty much literally straight back. 52nd minute, 55th minute. Italy just take the points they'd conceded straight back with uh, Lorenzo Canone getting his try on debut. Um, yeah, the, the Italian team celebrated that one. He's um, like seemingly a popular guy, I guess, because he's the debutante. Eh? Um, they swung it back right after looking like they were going to go left. It's well worked. It's 42-7. They were looking really sharp. Varney was still kicking like a boss. He gets another 50-22, which leads to a Bruno double. He gets one on 61 minutes. 12 phases in the build-up before Garbisi puts a little dink through. So, yeah, man, it's 40... Is it 49-7 at that point? So that's the final scoring for the uh, for the Italians. I guess they'll be a little bit miffed about the way they finish the game but credit to the Samoans they win the final quarter I guess because I mean um Ah Wong is unlucky he almost has a breakaway one where he um puts in a hit and the Italian guy drops the ball but his fingertips again touch the ball so knock on in the tackle but um when Bruno is trying to run it out of his own 22 he gets isolated there's a turnover and uh Paya Ah was able to finish that one so a try on debut for him and then McFarlane, who is a massive athlete, man. He's a he's a superhuman guy, that guy. Uh, he has out on the left wing, he catches a ball one-handed, beats two tacklers, and finishes off for a try. So nice way to finish finish the uh, the outing for the Samoans, even if it was kind of a rough day at the office for them. So they do finish with 17 points, which is more than they had at halftime. So um, yeah, possession finishes 52-48. Territory 55-45, but I mean clean breaks 9 to 5 to the Italians, run meters 410 to 289 to the Italians, knock-ons 13-5 to the Samoans. Not a stat you want to be to be in your favor, I guess, or against you, whichever way you want to look at it. Um tackling 83% for the Italians is not great, but it's better than the Samoans, which is 78. So fingers crossed the Samoans as they get a few more games in kind of get that cohesion together but um yeah it was a pretty rough day at the office for them Monte Iwane uh 94 meters four clean breaks seven defenders beaten two tries he's world class man I swear if he was playing for a for a better team than the Italians he would get a lot more credit than he does uh Lamaro makes seven from seven tackles McFarland as I mentioned he's another guy if he was playing for another team he'd probably be a lot more famous than he is 45 meters a clean break two defenders beaten a try at the death. Um, Fritz Lee makes 14 from 14 tackles. So, yeah, man, Italy doing their world rankings position a favor by getting a win over a Samoan team who were ranked above them. Um, but, yeah, we'll see how the games go for the rest of them. Uh, I think the Italians have got the Australians next. So, that'll be an interesting test. I think that they've got the South Africans after that as well. So, uh, it doesn't get any easier. But, um, yeah, you guys let us know your thoughts. If you want your rugby jerseys, including that Samoa one, check out Love Rugby. It's £22 for that jobby. Uh, well, they've got a white one as well, similar to the one worn today, but I think the one today is a slightly updated one. But anyway, Love Rugby is good for rugby jerseys. I like rugby jerseys. So um, there you go. Take care, folks. Uh, we'll uh, talk to you guys again soon. See you later.